submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I'm David. I'm Chad. And you're watching... Retro! Go, go! go. Welcome back, everyone. Hello! <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about, are you afraid of the dark? I am afraid of the dark. <gasps> uh, it came out uh, October 31st, Halloween, 1990 was the first episode. How old were you in 1990? <sighs> 13 Yes. Are you sure about that? <laughs> no. Uh, eight. Yeah, I was going to say, I would have been 12. So that sounds right. 13 does not sound right. For 1990s, I was five years older than Chad. One year older than Chad. I don't know how old I was. I was 113. Anywho. Uh, I love the show. Uh, it ran for, I think, six years. Um, yeah, I was not a big fan. Like, it was okay. Yeah. I was, re at the time, I was really into Erie, Indiana, which is okay. a different show. Yep. For a different show. But I did like Are You Afraid of the Dark? I always thought it was cool how it started with the campfire. And they yes. always said, the like you said at the beginning, yep. submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I thought yep. that, that was like the coolest thing ever. Yes. And then I kind of lost interest as the of show course. went on. But. Yeah. I always thought they had really good stories. Uh, they the did. one The one story I remember or the most was the tale of the Phantom Cab. Um, you didn't have to watch the show, obviously. Uh, but there was a riddle in there uh, that I really liked. Uh, what is weightless can be seen and put in the barrel and it makes it lighter. The gun. Yes. No. What do I win? Not the end of the show. We'll let you know. Yeah, we'll tell you the answer yeah. to the riddle. Uh, in the meantime, though, we should watch the opening. Yes. The show opening. Yes. Let's look at that because it was super good. It was. I got to give them really credit. Good, it yes. was a really good creepy opening. I'm going to press this. All right, let's take a look. I don't know what I'm pointing at. Don't look back there. We're going to do this. Cut. Scary I love the, I love the music. It was super good. Yes. Like everything about this was epic. Yes. Is that creepy kid laugh? Ugh. And a fan. I don't know what Scary the fan doll. is. But... It's a match. Just lights. Lights. How did it do it, though? I don't know. In the smoke. <gasps> yeah. So that's how every episode of Are You Afraid yes. of the Dark started. Short, sweet, to the point. Scoop, scoopy? Spooky. Scoopy? Scoopy. It was the scoopiest <laughs> intro I've ever seen. Yes. You're right. Yes. Nothing else <laughs> scoops that. <laughs> yeah. I, I I did. I really like the show. Um, I, I can, they made a board game yep. from the show. I never played it. And then a book series. Yeah. Oh, did they make a book series? Yep. Okay. Yep. It kind of makes you wonder if, if Are You Afraid of the Dark was kind of writing. Like, I'd have to look up when Goosebumps came out, the Goosebumps TV show. Yeah. If they were kind of riding off. Because they did the opposite. Like, Goosebumps was a book series that they turned into a right. television series. And Are You Afraid of the Dark was originally a TV series. Right. And then they made a book made series. A book series for it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm but since sure. they're still making Goosebumps and they're not making Are You Afraid of the Dark books, I think Goosebumps kind of won that battle. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Goosebumps was. Goosebumps had yeah. a lot of good shows. They did. Yeah, they made a lot of good. Books. Monster Blood, Haunted Mask. Yeah, that's on another but show though. That's a different show. Yeah, yes, we're show. talking about Are You Afraid of the Dark. Yes, quit distracting me. <laughs> uh, the uh, I did. Uh, I know the the smoke out of the fire uh, was. Non dairy creamer when you burn the campfire, it. yeah, the campfire. Yep, I knew that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like I love the beginning of it. Them, you know, sitting around a campfire telling ghost stories. Yeah, that was always really good. I always like creepy tales, and that was that was like kind of a theme because you yeah. did you had Are You Afraid of the Dark? You had Goosebumps. You yep. had scary stories to tell in the dark. Yep, which just recently got made into a terrible movie. Um, but that was the thing, and I dug that they had Erie, Indiana. I don't know if you ever watched Eerie, Indiana. I never watched that. It wasn't like Are You Afraid of the Dark was, what is it? It's like an anthology where the stories in Are You Afraid of the Dark don't connect. They don't have anything to do with yeah, each other. No. Yeah, no. Except that the Midnight Society is telling the scary story. Correct. Um, where Eerie, Indiana was a series. But it had the same thing where you have like okay. creepy monsters and ghosts and stuff. But Are You Afraid of the Dark, like Goosebumps, was an anthology. The stories didn't tie together. Right. So you could jump in the middle of season three and you would be just as good as if you were watching right. from Halloween of 1990. That's true. Yep. That is true. But yeah, it was a good show. Yep. I liked it. I loved it. Um, good story arcs. Yep. 
Uh, so what was it's... your favorite episode? I think my favorite episode was the tale of, what was it? Tale of Laughing in the Dark. And it was about... I think I saw that one. Yeah, the main one was Clown Called Zebo, And the basis of it was, you know, these kids hanging out, whatnot. And there's this one particular kid. And they're like, you're, you know, you're going to be scared. You can't go through it and steal Zebo's nose. Was it an amusement ride? Uh, It was was like... uh, Sure about that? Yes. (laughs) You, You know, it was just like a walkthrough. You like a scary, yeah. like all the mirrors. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I had like little, little things like one of the parts where the dragon uh, comes out, it, which was weird. It, it breathes actual fire. I'm like, oh, that's kind of seems scary. like a liability. Yeah, it's <laughs> <I was> like <laughs> I don't think that's really happening. Uh, but yeah, uh, we do have a clip of that. And there he. Oh yeah, he, he has to pick. Gets through, and he has to pick the right door in order to get out, or he gets scared by Zebo. Oh, no. Oh, that's so scary. Well, it's not door number five, kid. He looks like one of the kids from Pete and Pete. Actually, it might be. It's not. He just looks like him. Oh, okay. I know everybody that's in every show ever. People. Look at that. He found the right way out. Kiss this place goodbye. But he can't go yet. He has to get Zebo's nose. But he doesn't know where Zebo is. No. No, he has to, he has to, he has to pick a door. Or six. Six doors total in the room, it looks like. Uh, I think so. I don't think they never really specify. Oh, huh, there's Zebo. That was creepy. Yeah. Very Pennywise kind of thing going yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but I think that wraps it up. Yeah. Good. Yep. Are You Afraid of the Dark? Solid series. Yep. Excellent display of 90s kids scariness. Because that was kind of a big thing. Yeah. You gonna finish the show? I forgot to tell you. The answer to the riddle. What can you put in a barrel that you can see makes it lighter and doesn't change its shape? It's a hole. Huh. I don't know. Hmm. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next show. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Oh, yeah. Bell for notifications. Ding, ding. Click it.